Hey there, today we are going to review LEGO Set 80013. This is Monkey Kids Team Secret HQ. Originally coming out in 2020, it debuted at 169 US dollars. It has 1,959 pieces. This is the tugboat that I want in my harbor, so I'm gonna show you up close and personal just everything I can about this thing. Before we get going, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and make sure you have that bell on for instant notifications. You wanna know when we're going live out here cause I just built this set right here on YouTube. Good times. All right, well, let's get into this. This is Monkey Kids Team Secret HQ, 80013, 1,959 pieces. And this was a very straightforward build. I had a great time building it. I did it over two days live streaming, it took me 11 hours to build it with the audience. Had a great time, good times. Like to read all the comments if I can, don't wanna to miss too much. Here's our figs, we got Sandy, Mo, Monkey Kid, May, Pigsy. We're just taking a quick look now and then we'll come back and review these figs later. General Ironclad, Grunt, Roar, Snort. And the details on this thing are everywhere. Everything is so fun. Everything is all here. All the details, they did really well from the grab bars to the air intakes, to the exhaust fans, horns, solar panels, garbage cans, you name it. There's so much on here, so much to take in. And that's the cool part about it. It instantly gives character to wherever you're gonna place it. And where I'm gonna place this is in my Lego City Harbor someday, along with various other shipping containers and other things. That mech, I didn't like it at first, but seeing it now in the build, it's not going anywhere. I'm just gonna leave it right there. It looks great stored in the shipping container. There's also a living quarters. We'll look closer at everything to come. Check out these panels in the stern. You can see that they raise up that allows access to some jet skis, perhaps whatever you wanna put in there. There's so much open space on the interior. And again, we're gonna look closer at this build as we move forward. Let's take a look at more of the exterior, the tires on the side chained up it looks perfect just what a tugboat would have it appears we have some provisions possibly maybe some produce being grown on the upper deck above the container these containers are tricked out on the inside and boy there's some really cool stuff going on here we have the roof panels that come off like a modular building revealing the interior of the ship and the interior is very cool. There's a lot in there to look at. There is sort of a captain's station. There is Mo right there and his cat box that is conveniently located on top of the head. We have this white net, this plastic eight by 14 lattice. It is nice. It is a satiny piece and it is where Sandy lays his head at night. Plenty of room in here to put all the figs if you want to store them in there. And that beautiful crab, oh, that's a nice one right there. Glad it came with this set. Lots of little goodies in here. We're gonna look close and just take a look at everything we can. Love those red lanterns up on the DH Shipping Company sign. That's a huge sticker, eight by 16. Dark turquoise plaque up there, wow, big tile. There's the head, male, female, Mo. There's this cat box right on top of it. So everything's looking cool in here. The base was made up of larger one by bricks, some two by bricks, some two by slopes. It, it's, it's very substantial. A lot of larger two by 16 plates and everything sits relatively flat. The boat appears flat. And so when it is all folded up, the boat looks like it's in the water. So if you set this in your Harbor, it's going to look great. And here we go, <laughs> get a little, there's our fourth roof piece. Here's our detail. There's the cat box with a little something in it. And there is a plunger, a cat scoop, and the toilet seat has been left up in there. Oh boy. Yep, anyway, this is so fun. The male, female, and mo. And then here's the living room, a little close up of the living room right there. It's pretty cool. And there's the cat door on the outside. Very awesome. Uh, the cat door didn't sit up straight for me. I even tried to compress the wall together horizontally, but it didn't quite 
work as expected. So what are you gonna do? There's a six stud shooter in the front of this thing that stealthily comes up and has a lot of cool action right there. Love that big sticker. That was a big one that kind of made me nervous applying, but I laid it on very well and felt so accomplished after I did it. I can see uh, the jet skis right here. Let's take a closer look. This is Pigsy's jet ski. And the feature that calls to me here is the one by one plates that are printed. And so you get that effect that you see right there. The four stud windshield is pretty cool. And then there's May's jet ski right there on the other side. And we have a single port coming out of the side with a leaf element out of there. That's great. And then the tires, love it. So good. Everything, the graphic design on the stickers, great. Unfortunately, my sticker sheet was miscut. This translates to any sticker that has a border around it will look like this one where thicker black on two sides could have been worse I think have you seen the monkey kid cartoon a lot of people haven't the monkey kid animated series is inspired by the classic Chinese story journey to the west the series follows the adventures of a young teenager monkey kid or MK as he comes into terms of his mission to save the world all right and the time is now let's take a closer look at these figs let's start with Sandy one of my favorite minifigures of this set big figs I guess you can't even consider this a minifigure this is a big fig and it's beautiful and I'm so glad to have it Sandy is not exclusive to this set he appears in five other monkey kid sets maybe more eventually but he has this amazing weapon that looks great. He can only hold it in that position. It's so large. So I'm a fan of the Monkey Kid series and Sandy is much larger than all the rest and he does deserve a big fig. And this one is simple, but just right. Love the dark pink and orange, of course, with that light azure. I just love it. All right, and here we are onto Monkey Kid and obviously a feature character he has the printing on the side leg the printing on the toes he also has the printing on the belt line this is a very good fig this is a dual molded leg everything about this is beautiful he doesn't need the arm printing because he doesn't have it on his jacket currently looking at the monkey kid logo on the back that looks good good printing i love the colors light bright orange is one of my favorites and obviously looking at the hair you can see that the Headband is built into that hairpiece, and that is a fine looking head of hair. Love the earphones, dark turquoise. You have the Monkey King staff with gold hilts on either end. All right, and here is Pigsy, and he's got the sausage shooter. Straight up nice. And check out the pitchfork. Big and beautiful. Pigsy's looking good, and it is a relief to see short legs that move. I'm kind of sick of seeing the ones that have no mobility and it is really a big deal for me. So to see that, I just love it. Pigsy has the pink arms, so he's wearing the vest. On the back, he has the Pigsy's Noodle Establishment logo and the fork coming out of his back pocket. I do, of course, love, again, the pink hands and, of course, this custom molded head. So that's the big feature here, is it not? So this is totally custom. This headpiece is just exactly what I needed and I'm so happy to have it. Okay, let's look at May. May's a little blown out here with her white, but pretty cool. We can get a detailed look at her dragon printing on her torso and leg set. And the green hands, gotta love that. The gloves perhaps. And the again, the green printing in the black hair. I love the black hair piece. As I did show earlier, she does have a helmet that comes with this set, but I'm a big fan of seeing the hairpiece, so I'm gonna keep it this way. So I love the sword. Everything is very cool about that. And here's the back printing the scales of the dragon. Looks good to me. I like this very much. I feel like when I get a non-licensed theme, sometimes I get a little higher quality coming out of the minifigure section, whether it's printed arms, side printings on legs, printings on hair pieces, like on May. Maybe you get the extra cape for General Ironclad here. He's got a nice weapon, of course, with the flames coming out of his ax. And the pauldron, that spiky armor over there, I love it. So good 
bad guys to have. You get a whole bunch of them. You get four bad guys in this set. That's kind of cool. If you're going to have a battle, you might as well have all the figs you need. This set wasn't very cheap, but this set has lots of detail. Happy with all I see. Cool back printing. General Ironclad is in a few other Monkey Kid sets, but he is intimidating. He has the dark bluish gray hands and horns. And as we move on and take a look at the next one here, this guy is unique. He has the jetpack. He is an ironclad henchman. And he is similar to the other henchmen, the Bob Grunt, Growl, Roar, and Snort. They're all the same, basically. But having a whole army of them is kind of cool. Army building is very easy with Monkey Kid. You always get a few extra henchmen. And so this particular minifigure is supposedly exclusive to the set, but you can make this guy out of the two other ironclad henchmen. So not sure how it is very exclusive. Here's the other two guys. You can see again, the pink horns, the pink arms. Everybody gets the same legs and the helmets are pretty much identical. You can just pull the horn pieces in and out as you please. Hands as well, but I don't do that ever. I'm looking forward to building more Monkey Kid sets in the future, there's no doubt. These sets make me happy, and that's what it's all about. If, if something is making you happy, you gotta grab onto that. You gotta definitely harness it. Don't be forced to always build the other licensed themes that, of course, you love and that you have to get. Branch out. Monkey Kid is pretty cool. All right, and here's the star of the show. We have Mo. We love Mo. Mo looks so good. He's got the dual molded hair collar. Everything looks really good to me. Printings, the beautiful color, everything matches Sandy. So really happy with this. If we take a look here, now we have the extra pieces. This is what you will find after you're done building. Uh, maybe a couple things to mention would be the dark turquoise headphones. Those will be usable in the Lego city. Maybe also this red sausage that should be just fine and of course some lightsaber hilts i'll be sure to separate those out when i can and here we have the sticker sheet and one thing i wanted to point out aside from the 29 stickers was the miscut you can see everywhere i am heavy with color on two sides of the sticker so anywhere there's a sticker with a defined border you're gonna see a definite thinning of line and it's just gonna pretty much look shabby. I will overlook. I know this set will still bring a smile to my face. Here it is. This has been a great set to build. The enjoyment I had building it, nothing stressed me out. Everything was spread out, expansive, large bricks, tiles, plates, some small technical things, but mostly just having to do with clips and things like that. Everything was very enjoyable. I kept saying over and over again how enjoyable the build process was. So I just wanted to thank you for joining us on this one today. This is an amazing set. Every time I look at it, it brings me joy. It's gonna be in my Lego city. I'm excited for what's to come here on this channel and I hope that you can join us. Again, make sure that you are subscribed to this channel. If you liked what you see here, if you liked these review videos, then hit the thumbs up button. Encourage me to do some more, and we'll see you next time right here on Adshot. Thanks so much.